Hey guys, B Man Dan, we say bees. We're out here in La Jolla. Say hi, Craig. Hey. And the Donovan. Woo. First day, right there. That guy, not the first day. Not his, not his first rodeo either. But we've got bees on the other side of the property, but we're gonna be traversing across the roof line because we have to. <laughs> this is third, or three stories up. The bees are inconveniently over on this side of the building. No idea how long they've been here. It's a uh, side of the building that probably no one ever sees, so I'm gonna assume it's an old hive, but they're right above that little windowsill. Wish us luck. You sniffing flowers? Okay. Hi, Kai. Hey, guys. We swapped Kai out for Donovan. This guy's the same, though. Meow. Yep. <laughs> so uh, we had a mission board last time. Take a look at that pitch. That's. Uh, makes me want to pee or cry or poop or all of it at the same time. So Kai's been up here. Kai's a rock climber Yeah, he's a badass So he rigged up safety lines going from this chimney over for our gear And the humans and over there we're gonna tie off to that one and then cross the fingers We don't fall off if we do well shoot. <laughs> oh goodbye Yep, all right Basically, we're doing extreme beekeeping today just about every day. But Kai's over there in the corner. He's harnessed off. He's got two tie points to him. Craig with his poses. <laughs> I feel like we should get sponsored by Red Bull for this one day. We should get sponsored by many people. I still want Dodge Ram. You guys hear that? I want Dodge Ram to spo or, yeah, sponsor our trucks. All of them. Yes. Anybody. Everybody. All the peoples. We'd be okay with Toyota. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> We're name dropping. Yep. Who wants us? Anywho, we're over here. I have no idea where we're at. Delmar? No, we're not Delmar. We're somewhere in San Diego. There's uh, trees and oceans and stuff in the way. So, it would be pretty. It's overcast, which is really nice for a roof day because it's not that hot and unpleasant. But Kai's doing roofing right now. He's taking that off so that we can access the hive, which is by his left butt cheek. His right butt cheek, his left butt cheek. Yep, both butt cheeks. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pan over to the more exciting stuff. We'll skip this boring mumbo jumbo. Okay, almost show time. So we've got weather paper. They ironically just finished roofing this house, redid everything, and uh, the bees moved in about a month ago. So uh, good job, girls. <laughs> Horrible timing, but that's fine. So next, we're going to be sizing them up and then cutting into it, and then hopefully they're right here. Let's hope Craig knows what he's doing. Okay, am I up? <laughs> oh, no, y'all. Here's the great reveal. Everyone's secure. Nice catch. <laughs> Just Cowboy Craig reflexes. Second one, in case anyone's coming. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Quite oh, a nail. Was it a nail? Nail yeah, right there. This one? Yep, that one. Right. Nice guy. So close, so yes, close. There's a nail somewhere. Mm. Suspense. <laughs> no one's watching. Hi, hey, girls. Do you want insulation right now? Um, you can take their insulation and shove it up. Yep. Wrong. All right. oh, he didn't wait. He went for it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All sorts of bees everywhere. I'm gonna move my foot. probably topping it up. There we go. That's a proper reveal right there. <laughs> my goodness. Definitely seems like a little bit more than a month, but a month is probably month six months, six weeks? Yeah. Six and a half weeks. And the bees are crawling all over the place. 
Good job, guys. Yeah. And luckily, bees are mostly behaved. I have a couple floating around, not liking my face. All right, so professional baby kidnappers right there. That's what they look like. It's a stash <laughs> that gives it away. You need to trim this a little bit. The stash or the comb? <laughs> ah! Um, Everything's yeah. sliding. You grab me a high tool, Dan. Yep. Bam. So this is very tricky to do, by the way. Everything just wants to slide off, including Craig. Luckily, he's tied in, but everything just goes woo that way. We lost a bucket earlier, and then that thing almost fell. But this guy's got good reflexes. Grab another another sheet in a second. Guys over here juggling boxes and frames. And showtime. So the idea is we're not looking for the queen. This is a, luckily it's a chilly day, so it's a chilly mess. But if we grab the babies, queen will, sorry, bees will follow the babies and then queen will eventually follow the bees. It works much better than trying to find the queen in this, ho this whole fray of everything. Girls, not that way, go that way. Go that way, bad girls. <laughs> all right, Craig's pulling this thing apart. That's all brood babies. There's a little bit of honey on here. So the bees keep the honey towards the top of their colony. And then the, oh, that's a big, massive gap. Yeesh, yeesh. Ooh, pollen pants. the march I know it's May but we've got the march these are cruising right into the box I don't know why they would leave this but they're doing it and I'm okay with that but the brood the babies are inside here they're still brood here but they're still doing it it's great maybe it has something to do with being up here who knows Good job girls um Kai did you get those other frames in there oh shoot I did not <laughs> yeah all good Saw nothing, YouTube. Saw nothing. <laughs> so this march is... That's a horrible grammar, but <laughs> the march. You can see these bees over by the entrance. They're doing what's called fanning. And they're releasing a pheromone that draws the rest of the bees into the box. And you can see them crawl right through here. Ooh, that's a great scoop. Bloop. One of our favorite things to do is scooping. Sensation is really fascinating and he's using two layer nitrile gloves. Two layer gives you just enough protection uh, to keep the stingers out of your body, but gives us a balance between manual dexterity. That's a good one too. That might've been better than the last one, but we're not really judging. And it gives us dexterity to work and manipulate the comb without squishing the bees and lets us feel what's going on. That is just really neat sensation. Nice. So at this point, we still have no idea if we have the queen, but see those bees right there? The one standing still. They're doing the reorientation for the bees to get into this box. Scoop for days. Really fun to watch. It makes all this roofing and whatnot mostly worth it. <laughs> There's probably better ways to get this experience, but 
This is cool. Would rather not be the guys to do it, but if someone's gonna do it, we might as well be us. Good job, girls. And boys. High five, boys. Boom, boom. Okay, so geeking out a bit. This is actually their second time having bees here. So you've got these sheets of honeycomb coming this way, and then right in between, you can see a row that goes this way. It starts right here. So whoever did it last time left this little nub right there, and that's what drew the bees back to the same spot. And no idea why they would do that, spend all the time to do it so without uh, cleaning it prop properly or treating the pheromones. But that's why we're here. The pheromones is what draws the bees back. The honeycomb has the pheromones. It's kind of like an ant trail, so if you wipe a finger across the ant trail, it screws them up a bit. Dude. The bees, yep. Oh, crawling, crawling up, yep. Up under here, I want mm. to get a bridge of some sort. Yes, sir. Actually, we can move the box down below. All right, I'm done yapping. Bye. <laughs> All right, so the gentlemen have everything cleared out. And it looks like that's the hole that someone cut to access the spade from the ceiling, which I honestly can't blame them for. But uh, it's really hard to clean properly with good leverage from below. So that's why they left a bunch of honeycomb up there and the bees just came right back because there was that big crevice right there. You can see the ground from you can see the ground from here, which is not a good thing. So we're gonna seal this up properly, pack it, and call it good. Kai right now is cleaning everything up like a champ. Leaving, yep, leaving no evidence that we were ever here. And the girls mostly inside the box. But there's a little bit going that way and a few coming down right below the anchor tank. So we're gonna break, let the bees collect themselves emotionally and physically, and then see where, where they're at in like an hour. Okay, we're back from lunch. Bees are mostly inside the box. There's a hammer, in case you guys were wondering. Doesn't look like bees underneath. None over there, all good signs. And then now we just need to see what's on the other side because we forgot to yeah. on our way up. I forgot to. Just kidding. Can we hang the GoPro over the side? Yeah. See? We can. You guys want to go for a trip? Shout out to Miss Laura, the property owner. She made sure that these bees got uh, saved, 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 saved. Previous company probably killed them and um, I won't mention who the property manager is, but they were gonna get these bees killed. And she said, nope, not happening. So she made sure that we got rescued. Oh, sorry, we're here to rescue them. So shout out to her. Bees are inside the box. Queens will probably be in here somewhere. I uh, don't really know. After three days, our beekeepers will crack this open and we'll look for eggs and see if there's any fresh eggs. If there's fresh eggs, then we definitely have the queen. But uh, with the amount of bees that are in here, fairly high chance that we do have the queen. So thanks everybody. We'll see everyone on the next bee adventure. So this is really fun to watch. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a bee inside that's taking out a dead larva. And that's a good sign. That means they're gonna stick around to the box. Good job, girls. Let's see if we can see it out right there. Okay, bye-bye, for reals.